So I do see something I'd like in the cabinet, but they've marked them way up. So they're asking um, $45 for the Dooney and Burke purse. And even with a coupon, that's just way too much. So I don't think I'm getting anything out of the cabinet. They have a couple of really nice purses, but they're all marked 40 and 45. So let's continue on and um, hopefully they'll, they'll start marking them Marking them a little bit less expensive, but you never know. I always have to look at the Christmas because you never know. Oh look, they have a bunch of shoe racks. You know what, why don't we do that? Let's start in the racks. It's nice and quiet in here. I haven't been here in a little while, so we'll start. Oh, look at those. How cute are these little coach shoes? Um, they don't look too bad, just a little cleaning on them. So you know what, we will throw those in. We'll throw in the little coaches. Those are cute. I know a lot of you comment in the videos that you don't see that type of stuff at your at your Goodwill. You know, we just we get I get luckier here. I do see nicer, nicer things. So those are cute too. Those are halogens. All right. And who is this one? Okay. Oh, that's cute. I like the little Snoopy. I think I'll take the Snoopy. That's a Waverly wallet. This still has a security tag. Oh, you know what? Maybe it, oh, it's supposed to light up, I guess. Oh, how cute. Well, it doesn't light anymore, so I think I'm gonna pass on that. That was kind of neat, though. Okay, we'll come over here and we'll look at stuff. Hi, good morning. Okay. That doesn't feel very good. Let's see what we got over here. What's this over here? It is, it is coach. It's not too bad, you know what? And they did not, they did not mark it up. It's not too bad. Um, just a little bit of wiping on the inside and outside. I think this is perfectly, perfectly good. Even the bottom looks not too bad. Okay, so that's a good one. That'll work. So we'll just keep on moving. Yeah, maybe today, maybe we'll find some good stuff today. That was kind of a nice surprise. Now, who makes this one? Oh, I've seen this brand before. This is, you know what? I've seen this before. So I know, um, I know it's good. I just can't remember off the top of my head. It's, I don't want to say it's fossil. It is, there it is, it's Jack George's very nice purse. I got, if you remember a few back in my videos, I got one of his uh, woven purses. Um, really nice quality. So that was another one and I will, I will happily put that in my cart and take it with me. I really like the Jack George's purses. I like woven things, so that's a really good one. Um, I'll come over here and keep looking. So, you know, let me know if you see something that you like. I will always stop, you know, if you see something that I'm not familiar with, you know, feel free to leave a comment. I do, I do read your comments. What is this? Malibu Sky, okay. At least all that Dooney and Burke there. I'm surprised nobody took that Dooney and Burke, but I mean, unless you're someone like me that really knows how to clean it, you're probably not gonna wanna take it, but that's, that's, you know, like I said, that with that type of fabric, it is hard to do that. I can't get over all the, um, the luggage and stuff they have over there, but we're gonna, we're gonna make our way over there. So far, I'm really happy with the two little things that I did find, and I didn't even get them out of the million dollar rack. So let's go ahead and Come over here and look at the belts and stuff. Eh. 
come over here. That's an interesting pattern on those Clarks. That really is Clarks Bendables. That's a very unique looking pattern. I do kind of like that. Um, I have started picking up a few more Clarks. I think I'm going to put them in the in the cart. And I did get the little Snoopy back pad. I don't know why, but I always grab peanuts. That. So now we're going to come over here and see what we can find. Well, I know these are dance goes. I know they've got some wear on the front, but you know what? Guess what? Those will clean right up and they haven't marked them up. So dance goes go in the car. I, I probably, if, if, I'm, if I'm thinking clearly, I would say I probably sell more dance goes than probably anything else. Um, I do, I do sell a lot of them. I, you know, I, I find them usually in very nice condition. These are really nice too. Now these are real luckies. I really, I like those. They're a small size. They're only a size six, but look how, look how cute those are. They're just a little slip on. I, I do like that. So I'm going to put those in the cart. I'm going to keep on looking, seeing what else I can find. I can see if this pair has tags on it still. Vpos. Now that doesn't, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't even feel like it's real suede. So I think I'm gonna leave that. I can keep on walking down the line a little bit. Okay, we got some shoes. That's a really pretty blue pair of Skechers. Um, they do have some some um, staining on them, so I'm gonna leave those behind. But those those were a nice looking pair. These are actually a pair of Clarks. See, I really like those too. Oh, these are interesting. Look at they're like little boots, but they actually have a, um, a zip up on the side. That is quite interesting. They're a navy blue. I think I'm gonna put those in the cart. I like the fact that they're different. Sorry, I decided to stop at the end cap real fast before I moved down the aisle. But I'm not seeing anything on this end cap that I absolutely have to have. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep on going down the aisle. Let's see what else we can find. Now who makes these? Oh, <laughs> nice find. I know you guys get a little jealous when I find the nice stuff, but these, these are Kate Spade boots. I love them. They're perfect. So we're definitely going to take those. Uh, that's White House Black Market. These are simples. I do like simples. It depends what um, kind of condition they're in. Yeah, they look a little beaten up. Um, let me go ahead and take them those are. I do like them though. No, I think the I think the toe on them is a little bit more. So I am gonna put those right back up there. And then we're gonna head out down a little bit more. Alright. These are loft. You can see that one. That's kind of cute. Those are, those are good. Oh, that's a big size. 44. It's interesting. But you know what? We will take them. We like them. No. I think I'm going to go down the next aisle. Like I said, people would stay having a little bit of space is really nice. Well, it's, so far it's looking like a dance go day, which is not a bad day. Mm -hmm. 
I will go back down that aisle on the other side and check because I didn't see, I didn't look. Oh, and here's another one. Here's another pair. Perfect. Okay, so as I said it, it is a dance go day. I think that, what is that, number three? Oh, these are right here. These are cute. These are made, made wells. Um, Madewell is hit and miss. Sometimes you can do really, really well with it, but I'm going to say that these are a little more worn. You can see the leathers wearing out in the back. So I'm going to put those back and we're just going to keep on looking down the aisle. See if we see anything. And maybe there'll be some carts in the back today. That would be great. I feel like I, I'm starting to really miss my garage sales season. You know, it's Oh, see, that's a pair of Kohlhaan, too. But look, the, the suede has a few stains on it. But man, do I really like those. Look at that yellow bottom heel on it. I'm thinking the stain would probably come out with um, some of the sneaker cleaner. Um, and they didn't mark them up. What size are they? An eight and a half. You know what? I might take these with me because I feel like I can do something with those. And I do like them. So I'm going to put those right there. All right. Oh, what are these right here? These are wolky. I mean, not I'm not wonky, wolky. Darn if I don't love that color though. It's a like a berry red. So these are made by wolky. I'm gonna have to look those up. They're a great color, a nice red. Um, so I'm going to grab those too. Yeah, makes those. I'm not really sure who make those. Oh, look at those. I know what those are. Yes. Those are, oh, bummer. Okay, so these have a little wear on the thing. These are Tory Burches. They do have a little wear, but I think the wear is only on the inside. You know what? I think I'm going to get these, um, and clean them, clean them up a little bit because honestly in the fronts and back, there's no wear. Um, yeah, I think these are going with me too. Okay. So yes, when you when you ask me, I, I do, this is the stuff I find at, at our, our Goodwill. And I do have some other stops to make this afternoon too, but that is, that's pretty much gives you an idea. And I do usually like flip flops, but I'm not a fan of this rose gold color. Hmm. Oh, those are nice. Who makes these? Never heard of Essex Lane. They, I don't think that's going to be a leather either. Not by the time I, I picked it up, so. Ah, oh, these are interesting. What are these? They're Skechers. Ah, kind of a little cowboy boot, but they've got like a different color on it. It's kind of a neat idea. Here's some down here. What are these? Oh, dance go it is. Guess who's going in the cart? Yep, I did find another pair. I know you guys are going to be like, really? Are you serious? Yeah, what is that, number four or number five? And they're all different sizes, so I know it can't be the same person. That's pretty good. That's probably a record for me. I know you guys, I know you guys are probably going, are you serious? But yeah, that's, that's probably a record for me. I don't think I've ever... Oh, see, those cool Hans are beautiful. I, I wish I could still wear heels like that, but those are so pretty. Um, yep. So it's, it's dance go for the win today, guys. Dance go for the win. All right. So why don't we go ahead and head out and we'll hit the, the carts. These are pretty too. I don't think these are... 
um, the pila. They're pretty, they're pretty worn. I still, and, and I promise I will get to it. I still have not done my, my Birkenstock, uh, my Birkenstock video test. I apologize, but, um, I'm still, I still have that pair of Birkenstocks that I want to put through that cleaning video thing that I saw where they showed you how to clean Birkenstocks real good. So I, I will, I promise I will get to it. Um, so I guess, I think I know I went down that aisle. So I think all we got to do here is just head down the, the men's shoe aisle. And then we, we're probably going to head to the back of the store. See what we can find. I like buying men's shoes. Um, you know, I do find some really nice um, pairs in here. And, you know, the... They, they sell for me. Like these, these, who likes those? Those are kind of an interesting men's boot. Oh, those are, you know what? Those are actually Sonoma. I wouldn't have guessed those were Sonoma, but those are okay. Unlisted. Okay, I've looked at the unlisted before. Now, these are probably men's too. New Republic. I definitely would say those are men's, and I honestly think they're really nicely done. So, um, honestly, I think I'm going to put these in the cart and look these up because I am not partial whether they're men's or women's shoes. If I like the way they look and the leather looks good, I'm going to put them in the cart and figure it out later. You know, of course, I still have to inspect them, but that's, that's just part of the deal. These are really nice too, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to, the insides are pretty worn out, but these almost remind me of like a, a Doc Martin, but they, they don't have any of the logo on the bottom. So I'm not thinking they are. If you, if you know, just let me know in the comments. Cause I know sometimes you guys, you know what? I have a feeling I better just take those and look them up because they have a lot of the characteristics of Doc Martens or a high end shoe, but they're, but they don't have, um, they don't have the soles on them. I love these Vionics. Look at these. These things are like brand new little cork Vionics. I'm going to throw those in too. Well, it's definitely been a shoe day. I think I'm going to have to lay off the purses for a while here because they, they really have been, they've been marking them up. And I, I always kind of tell myself, I don't want to spend more than $25 on a purse. I kind of feel like that's my limit at a thrift store, unless it's something like really, really high end. But you know, oh, look how nice these are. These are, these are San Antonio Shoe Company. These are Sasses. I always say Sass and people um, are like, huh? San Antonio Shoe Company. Look at, they're, they're like in great shape. And I can tell they're a very big size, which is always a good thing in my world. So let me see, what are they? They're a 13, you know, and I'm throwing those puppers in too. I think those will do quite well. So I did recently buy a pair of Sass shoes. I wasn't really sure because they were narrows. Um, and they were like an 11 narrow. They were really, a, you know, a larger size. And, on, and I bought them and I kind of thought, well, you know what? because they are a larger size and I usually do pretty good with that. I'm going to pick those up and I, and, and I did, they were, they sold, um, and they sold pretty quickly. So I, I'm glad because I can't imagine when you're wearing sizes like that, it's easy to find shoes. Now, what is this now? Okay. So now I know this is a military backpack. I cannot tell if he had his, if that's a, an, like a person's name inside there embroidered. I think it might be. No, it actually comes out. Okay, so I do have to look at this and see who this is because this could actually be a really nice brand who makes this bug out gear. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Military backpacks can do, um, can do very well and they can be very expensive depending on what brand they are. What is this over here? This caught my attention. This is hiding in the back corner. Who is this? This is Castle. Oh, that's pretty. Now, someone was hiding this. I do like it. And it's definitely leather. How cute is that? It's, it's Italian. Um, I don't like that the little flowers are all kind of folded up. That might just bug me a little bit too much because... I feel like they should have been 
it's you know sewn down but I'm gonna take them and I will um, I will check on that now I something up here let me see if I can get up there and take a look okay that's not gonna be too expensive but so yeah we'll just keep on going all right let's go and hit the um, the racks in the back Yeah, I gotta, I gotta have to have a few things I'm gonna have to look up today. I'm not, like I said, these, these shoes are speaking to me and I just don't know who they are. Oh. And of course I gotta look at all my sweaters. It's, I, I, I have sold a lot of Christmas sweaters this season. So at this point I am, um, you know, not expecting to see too many more. Oh, the colors on this are very pretty. Look how pretty that is. It's a size small. Obviously, I'm, you know, not my size, but um, that is really nice. I think I'm going to put that in the cart. And do a quick little glance at the, the men's stuff. Got some guest jackets there. Okay. All right. We get to look at the Christmas, and here's all the DVDs. I always wonder if I'm going to get lucky, and there's going to be a bunch of video games in here. I've had that happen where I've walked up to one of these carts, and there's nobody in the store, and it's all video games. It was just, it was just my lucky day that day. Somebody obviously liked South Park because there is a lot of South Park. There's also Strawberry Shortcake, which I usually like, but um, I don't think one video on its own. If I if the video is, is only a certain dollar amount, I will try to load it with other videos. Yeah, but somebody definitely liked South Park. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Angelina Ballerina. And of course, Goonies. Goonies never die. So I guess I'm going to keep on looking. I don't think any of these are video games. They look like they're all um, DVD. So we're going to go ahead and head over here. Oh, guess what? We get to see some cards. Yay, and there's no one over here. So... We'll do a quick look-see pie and see if we catch anything. I like that snow would be to clean strawberries. But um not really sure who that is though. Oh it's hand it was handmade. Nice. Very cute. Someone someone did a nice job on that. That's 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 nice. Um, let's see some boxes down here. Okay. Well, how cute is this? Did you guys see this down here? This is, um, I guess a Christmas tree teapot. Look at that. Now, see, I wouldn't want to ship anything, but look at that. It's one, that's the cup. You get your, your teapot, your, I guess your teapot, your cup, and then your, your, your top. That is really sweet. You know what? I am not sure who this is, but it looks like it might be well made. So I'm going to put it in the cart. I don't know if I'm going to get something like that because I I kind of am gotten out of wanting to ship things like that. So we'll uh, head on to the next cart. Well, all right, I feel like I am getting tired. I don't know why, but I am, I am getting tired. Oh, look at the peanuts. Oh, cocoa mixes and mini ceramic mug. That is so cute. Well, it is over a year old. 
Yeah, I just don't think I can justify that because I don't know if it would still be good or not. But I do love me some peanuts. Let's go see what else we can find. Oh, table tennis. Uh, I've had these before. These have, I've had this before, but I don't think my last one sold. So I think I'm going to wait on that. But I have had the... Um, I have had the um, ping pong sets before. And I don't think it sold. It might, it might have. It, I think it might still be in the store. I don't know. I'd have to look. Oh, this is really cute. Look at the, the old U.S. Navy mug. It looks to be in pretty good shape, too. I don't know, that, that handle feels kind of funny though. I, I don't, it doesn't feel real sturdy to me. So I think I will put that back just because the, the handle is uh, not what I, what I want. Here's a very large Winnie the Pooh mug. This is actually a really good size. I'm gonna have to look that up because you know, these, these bigger mugs sometimes can do really well for me. Well, all in all, I have really filled up my my um, cart pretty quick today. I mean, I haven't even gotten to the rest of the, the store. I think I'm going to do a little walk through the Christmas and see if I see anything vintage or... These candles used to do used to be really nice and these used to be real expensive too. The Christmas tree carved candles. Let me see what kind of shape this is in. Oh, that's pretty. You know, and it's never been burned. I do like that. Um, yeah, these used to be, I mean, they were pretty pricey back in the day. I'm gonna put that in the card and look. Because, you know, I don't feel bad at this time, this time of year, like, mailing a candle, you know. It's not, I'm not going to have to worry about it. Oh, the stocking holders are really cute. I still have to put the stockings on the fireplace, and I'm really hoping I can actually find the stocking holders. Because, honestly, I'm not really sure where they are at, and I have been really slow with getting stuff done this year. Um, so maybe I'll, maybe I can get to that this week and pick up, pick up the pace a little bit and maybe get some stuff done. I am looking at the bags and the boxes and stuff because like I said, with these places you always have to check the bags and inside boxes because literally they'll take the box that somebody um, donated in and just plop the whole thing on the shelf and not even open it. See, look at that old tree topper. That's really cute. We got some big stuff up there too. All right, I think I'm going to check this Christmas tree one out and then I am going to do my final assessment and then I'll come back a little later and let you guys know what I got. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, YouTubers, I wanted to do a quick recap of the items that I bought today. Uh, it was kind of a quick run in, but I was really, really surprised at some of the quality of the pieces um, that I found today. Um, it was it was pretty um, surprising. So I kind of want to give you guys a quick heads up and then I will absolutely tell you what I spent. So I did get a coach purse. It just needs a little bit of cleaning. It's not in bad condition at all. Just needs a little bit of cleanup. Um, I did get a pair of Vionic shoes. They're like cork looking ones. I did get a pair of uh, Salvador Ferragamos. I got a pair of Tory Birches. Um, I did get a little pair of coach tennis shoes. They need a little bit of a polish, a little cleanup. Um, I also did get the Cole Hans, the suede ones. I got some black 
Kate Spade boots. I do believe the shoes in the very back are Doc Martens. Those, um, the black kind of like the perforated ones. I got some Sass, um, San Antonio Shoe Company. I got some Woolrich. I also got some London Fog. I did get a cute little Peanuts uh, backpack. Uh, I got a pair of Wolkies. I've never bought Wolkies before. Those are those little red shoes. I did get a pair of Lucky Brand Mules. I got a pair of Clark Mules because I like the cutouts on them. I got a George's uh, leather purse. I also got an Italian purse right here, this brown one. Um, you know, I, I, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I decided, you know what, it was in good condition, so I did get it. I got the Bug Out military uh, backpack also. And as I was telling you when I was in the store, today was, it was dance go day. So I ended up walking away with one, two, three, and four pairs of dance goes, um, which is a good day. And some of them are really good sizes too, which is always a really nice thing. Um, so all in all, I really got some high-end brands. Um, you know, I'm gonna be cleaning some shoes today, I guess, but that's okay. Um, I spent a total of $139 at the Goodwill today. Um, I really don't know off the top of my head what'll be the highest end sellers. I have a feeling the Doc Martens in the back and probably the Ferragamos will, will probably have the best resale on them. But as I start to go through these items, you, you just never know. I, I never, I'm never positive. You know, sometimes you will pick a piece that is part of a line that they don't make anymore that's retired and the value is, you know, quite a bit more than you would regularly expect and that happens um, in some brands. But all in all, I'm really, really happy with what I got. $139 spent on a very cold uh, Thursday. So all in all, it's been a good day. And once again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would like and subscribe, that would be even better. And I will see you next time.